Hey, happy Friday Eve to you. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. This is Drew Burgoyne, and this is your CBS 58 Quick Cast. Now, we don't always have the chief meteorologist make an appearance in our Quick Cast, but I'm when back. we do, yeah, you know there's some actual weather coming. So, Drew, what is coming? Well, the good news this evening, if you're running around, you're fine. Okay. We're not worried about that. Winter weather advisory begins at 3 a.m., goes until 6 p.m., Jessup, for tomorrow. Doesn't include our entire area. Uh, Milwaukee's out of there, but Waukesha, Western Racine, Kenosha, Walworth into Jefferson and Dodge counties. Those areas in purple will have the best chance up to about four inches of slushy wet snow. That is the theme for tomorrow. We're going to have a mix for your Friday morning commute that quickly turns over to snow west of the lakefront. Midday time is going to be the most impactful slushy wet roads, lower visibility, two to four inches of snow inland up to an inch right along the lakefront. And then by your Friday evening, it wraps up with some patchy drizzle. All right, Drew, thank you. The man who shot and injured three Wauwatosa police officers at a hotel last year was sentenced today. Kenneth Burney sentenced to 40 years in prison. That was the maximum penalty for the shooting at a Wauwatosa Radisson last November. Now, before the sentencing, two of the officers did give impact statements talking about how the shooting affected their lives. In Milwaukee, the first community land trust home is finished and it's up for sale well under market value. That's the plan, though. The project is in partnership with VIA CDC's turnkey program to enable more people to be able to buy a house. The group rehabs homes, builds a new one or builds a new one, and then sells those homes at an affordable price. Milwaukee Community Land Trust and VIA CDC will partner on five more homes in 2023. Well, the applause was loud. The smiles were big at Milwaukee Area Technical College as 11 men took their next steps towards life on the outside after being locked up. Through the Second Chance program, they learned how to weld. The federally funded program allows inmates to get Pell Grants and get educated with the goal of getting jobs and supporting their families when they get out. It was a very merry and bright afternoon for several elementary school students in Waukesha. Sharp Literacy holding its second annual holiday happiness event in partnership with Coles, Carroll University and Quad. 80 students from Hadfield Elementary were there with a shopping helper. A lot of volunteers were Carroll basketball players. Happy holidays to everybody. And just like that, CBS 58 Quick Cast is done. I'm Jessup Reisbeck. We appreciate you watching.